So welcome to Yoga Therapy Wednesday for HR Wellness. And we are going to focus on the upper back today as per requested. Exhale, bend the knees and feel the feet. And inhale, bring the arms through that radiant sun that we're seeing in the sky today. I hope wherever you are. And exhale through the center. And if you like, you can visualize a waterfall coming down from the front, the sides, the back. As you draw the belly in, look at the feet perhaps. Inhale, expand through that radiance. And exhale, feel that waterfall just cleansing away. Any worries, tensions, fears, frustrations. Inhale, filling up with energy, with light, with courage. And exhale, letting go of worries, tensions, fears, frustrations. Last time, inhale. Constricting the throat if that works for you. Exhale, make a ha sound. Keep that going. I have somebody joining us a little late. Oh, a couple of people. <laughs> Keep it going. All right. Nice. Okay. Hello, welcome. We're, we got started, but we're going to keep going. Thank you so much. Okay, and just mute. Um, once you get in there, just mute. That'd be great. Thank you. So just one more time. Inhale, expanding at the sides through that radiance all around you. And exhale, feel that waterfall coming down the front, the sides, the back, through the legs, into the feet. We're going to add a four bend just to keep going from this feet apart. Inhale, arms to the sides, through that radiance. Exhale, take that waterfall further forward into a full four bend. I'm using the namaste position, the mudra. Inhale, you can do that or any other gesture of surrender, letting go that speaks to you. As I exhale, I'm drawing my belly in from the pelvic floor up to the belly button. If there's any heart disease, just remember just coming halfway or coming to a chair. You can always bend the knees. If it's comfortable for your body, mind, and physiology, release the head down. Inhale, coming up and visualize yourself sweeping through that radiant sun coming out of the heart, the enlightened heart. Exhale, letting go of those kleshas, those coverings of the mind. They keep us from experiencing the radiance of the heart. One more time, inhale. And this is one of the quickest ways I know how to just let go of tension, anxiety, frustration. Exhale. Now, if it's comfortable, stay at the bottom. Again, if there's any heart disease or glaucoma where you need to keep the head above the heart, you can come to this position. Okay, so otherwise, hands on the ground or on a chair, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale. Lengthen the spine, exhale, bend the knees and relax the head down. I'm gonna show that from the halfway position. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, relax. Draw the belly in as you relax. Keep that going. Maybe feel the lower back decompress. I'm going to come out of this now. And we're going to go into the upper back now that we've warmed up the legs and the lower back and the shoulders. So coming to the back of your mat or wherever your practice area is and bringing your left foot forward, turning right foot out. And you're going to need some space for this. So I'm going to actually bring my mat a little bit more 
towards you. So I've got space to bring my arms to the sides. So this is a wonderful one for neck and shoulders. Inhale, arms at the sides. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Now, as you do that, draw the belly in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Feel the little toe side of the back foot. And exhale, forward bend. Now you can come just halfway. You can come hands to a chair or table or all the way down. Parsha Uttanasana, one sided forward bend. Inhale, coming up. We're going to bring our arms to the side right away, bending that front knee over the ankle towards the second toe. Exhale, drop the shoulders, draw the belly in. Draw the pelvic floor in. Inhale, stretching to the sky. Maybe looking up if that feels good for your neck, otherwise forward. And exhale, forward fold. And this stretches the legs, the lower back, and the upper back. Inhale, coming up, so fourth time. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, draw the belly in, draw the rib cage in, don't let it flare out. Inhale, warrior one, Virupadrasana, classical pose. And exhale, forward fold. We're gonna stay in this forward bend. As you inhale, you're gonna come Halfway up or a quarter of the way up and exhale forward bend. Now, if you want to add on to this for strengthening the back, bring your left hand on your lower back, your left leg is forward. Inhale, bring your right arm forward as you lengthen your spine. Exhale forward bend. And that's strengthening for the whole back, lower and upper back. It's too much, just keep the arms on the floor and inhale, lift the chest, exhale, come forward. So this is a strengthening pose. Do around four times, maybe up to six, depending on the length of your breath. And when you're ready, just stay in that four bend, relaxing the whole spine. Sometimes we get upper back tension just because of mental tension. So if we can rest the head, bring it lower than the heart, just help us relax. The body and the mind, when you're ready, coming up slowly, big change in blood pressure here. And stepping back, if that's possible, like a warrior. In India, the female warrior is called Durga. She rides a tiger. I'm very fond of her. Right foot forward, left foot turned out. And uh, she um, is able to Remove her enemies quite successfully. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, arms at the sides. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in. So these warrior poses promote courage. And exhale, the four bends promote relaxation, letting go, surrender. Inhale, warrior one with arms at the side for upper back, neck, and shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, dropping those elbows, palms up, thumbs back, if that works for you. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, forward fold. Again, you can come just halfway down. You can leave the head up. If there's blood pressure issues or eye issues, inhale, coming into that warrior one, bent front knee, arms at the side. Exhale, drop the shoulders, draw the belly in. Inhale, arms coming up. Virupadrasana. 
Yodhapatra was a warrior. Exhale, forward bend. Warrior of Lord Shiva. I've got Shiva here on my mini altar. And now we're going to stay here. Or as you inhale, lifting the chest. Trying to bring the rib cage forward on the thigh. Exhale, forward fold. Or adding more, bringing the right hand behind on the lower back. Inhale, lengthen the left arm forward and come halfway up. This is very strengthening for the whole spine. Exhale, forward bend. This is a Arda or half pose, Arda, Parshva, one sided Uttanasana forward bend. These Sanskrit names are from ancient India, just so you know, different uh, lineages of yoga have slightly different names. So you might know other names, and that's totally fine. And after doing that four to six times, just staying in that four bend. Again, you can leave your head up. If you've been told by your doctor not to bring your head lower than your heart, you can have your hands on a chair, table, blocks. Or if you can, release your head lower than your heart. This is a semi-inversion. Now from here, you can step forward into a four bend, or if it's accessible for you, you can go into downward facing dog. I know some people love this pose and some people hate it. So choice, this pose, or just standing forward bend. I've brought this pose back since learning that being in this position can help bring more blood to the upper chambers of the lungs. And help oxygenate that area of the lungs and help get more oxygen into our blood. So this top part of our lungs is doesn't usually have much blood flow in it, and therefore there's just air there and the blood is not getting absorbed into the blood. So inversions can be helpful for that in yoga. When you're ready, stepping forward if you're not in your forward bend and gradually coming out. And that is only 15 minutes of practice, and that's a set. And that could be your daily practice, just that. So if you're watching this video and you're like, I only have 15 minutes, um, that could be enough. Just notice how you feel. You probably feel a little bit longer in your spine, a little bit taller. You might feel a tiny bit of heat, but not sweating, hopefully. Okay, we're going to go into the upper back now uh, through some side bends. So I'm going to add the upper and lower back. So you know, lower back is always an issue for many people. You're going to step your left foot over your right, and you're going to come to your left side. Now, the upper back part is going to be gotten by that top arm. So stretching that arm long. And if you want to get into the lower back, you stick your hip out and that will get into that QL area, which is where the hip and the lower back meet. One of the points also meets through the psoas. And you can add on, add that lower arm. You can hold the top wrist. And if you wanna focus more on the upper back, you might wanna Hold opposite elbows and get underneath the armpit into the rib cage. 
And I think anyone who's sitting very much should do lots of side stretches. This causes all sorts of problems. If you don't, we're gonna to go to the other side. You can decide whatever arm position you want. Right foot over left, coming to your right side, bringing that left arm up. I'm mirroring, obviously, for you. And you might stay there. If you wanna keep it moving, it would look something like this. Inhale, center, exhale, side. And if you want to stay here, you're really sticking that opposite hip out to get into the rib cage, maybe holding opposite elbows. And you can actually feel some space being created between those top ribs. And again, that upper chamber of the lungs. by stretching the intercostal muscles between the ribs, we're also able to get more oxygen as we breathe. And this helps us with immunity, helps us with energy, focus. It goes on and on, metabolism. And inhale, center. Exhale. Center, Samastiti, even standing pose. I invite you to take your hands to your heart. Just notice how it's feeling in this area of the body, just somatically, how it's feeling. Is it feeling tight? Is it feeling soft? And now notice the breath. Are you feeling like you're breathing in a shallow way or is there a length and depth to the breath? You might wanna put one hand on the belly to just encourage a bit more belly breathing. And dropping the head down into the body. And then notice how you feel on a cognitive level. Is there lots of thoughts or just passing thoughts? Feeling the body, the breath, and the mind. And then in yoga and in Buddhism, there's something either that it's at the very depth of the mind, Buddhists believe the source of consciousness links still to the mind or beyond the mind. That's where yoga and Buddhism separate. Yoga believes there's this separate part of you called the soul or Purusha spirit. And it's very still and peaceful. So can you connect perhaps to that just for a moment? Inhale, am, exhale, here. Drop your attention as if you're gazing into your heart, deep into your heart center. Inhale, am, exhale, here. We're going to do one more set of asana. Of the postures of yoga. Asana means to be present. So we're practicing being present through somatic experience. Okay, moving into rotation. Inhale, arms to the center. We did this last week. I do this most weeks. Exhale, coming to your left side, rotating. Now you can 
rotate just the upper body, keep the hips still. It can be a little bit of twist in the hips. Also inhale, center, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, other side, drawing the belly in from the pelvic floor up like you're zipping up a pair of jeans. Inhale from the chest down like you're unzipping a winter jacket. Exhale from the bottom up. Inhale from the top down. Try to feel that in the whole torso, not just the front. Feel it even in the back. This one is wonderful for the upper back, neck and shoulders. Now, if you want to take it a little further, we're just going to take it as far as the upper back today. So you can go to one side and see if you can try to twist a little bit more. This becomes a bit more challenging. You might want to bend the knee of the direction you're going towards to give yourself a bit more space, trying to align those shoulders. You can't have the top arm long, but that adds usually quite a bit of tension in the shoulders. So you might want to keep the arms bent. Now, when we take it further this time, I'm going to invite you to keep it in the center. And you might want to have a block or a table or a bench. I'm going to grab my block just to show you. Um, you could use a book. You could use a table. So you're going to come to the center. So this could be a table, could be a chair. You're going to inhale, lengthen the spine. So we're going to go left first. And then exhale, you're going to twist to one side. So I'm going to the left first for you. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. You might have one side that you can twist a lot more than the other. Now, some of you might be able to do this on the floor. You can add the arm as well. That's your exhale. Inhale, center. And exhale, switch hands. Now, the higher you are, the more you're going to go into the upper back. So it's actually harder for me to do it higher, believe it or not. So finding that golden mean that works for your body. This really works, this variation works with the upper back, neck and shoulders. Now we're gonna stay in the next one. In this position, inhale, look away with your head towards the ground. Exhale, bring your arm down. We're gonna do it again. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, look away towards your hand. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, look away. Exhale, coming down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, look away. Exhale, coming down. Other side. So again, using the chair, block, whatever works. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, look away with your head towards your hand, your lower hand. And exhale, come down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, look away with your head. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, look away. Exhale, come down. Stay in your forward bend now. You can make it less intense by having your arms straight. Your arms can be on a chair, on a table. They can be on a block or a stack of books. Or you can go into the full forward bend if you choose. You want to work more with the upper back. Bring your arms forward as if you're doing a downward facing dog. 
and inhale, arch up, look forward, exhale, come back, bend the knees, get into the lower back and hips. Inhale, come forward, weight on the hands, look forward, exhale, come back. You can do this with your arms on a table, an ottoman, a chair, a desk, whatever prop you have available in the space you're in. And just finishing up, exhale center, inhale halfway up, exhale stay, inhale the rest of the way up, coming to your center. Just finding a closing position for yourself. Hands at the heart. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. is the same as that in me, the same as that in all. Thank you.